What's up guys, this is Clay. I am the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And we're gonna do a quick little project video today. Uh, this is a laser cut box. Uh, it's just perforated around the edges. There's some free uh, online tools for this. So I'm gonna show you one of them. You can also use Cuddle for this. Actually the Cuddle uh, box maker I found to be a little bit better, but I'm gonna show you a free one. So no cost and uh, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm over here and I'm just gonna show you around a little bit. Um, the, so one of the things I liked about the, so this is the cuddle, the cuddle box generator. I just thought, as I, this is a, my first time doing this, but I just thought some of these boxes, um, I, I don't know, I just thought some of the way that this was laid out and the way that they have the kerf offset built in, I'll talk about that in just a second. But I did, the one that I used was this maker case so this is a free one and I just went to a uh, simple box and then I did an open box and I did a finger joint. So we're gonna do about 0.6 for the size of the finger. And then I just download the box plans. Boom, download SVG. I'll show in folder, copy this. Paste that, boom. Okay, so I got in Lightburn. And so I actually did two, two of these boxes, guys, I, before, while I was trying to get this video together. And the first one I did, I didn't do any kerf offset. And so what that means, the kerf is the, uh, when, when you laser cut something, the beam is a, is a width, right? And so if you don't account for that, when you're doing something like this where you want um, where you want everything to come right together like that and you want it to actually be a tight squeeze, you have to account for that kerf. So the way that I did that in Lightburn was in my settings, um, I just, this is normally at zero. So I just came to kerf offset and did 0.007. Um, and then I was able, the second time I cut the box, I was able to get this nice tight, like this thing not going anywhere. Um, and it was actually a little too tight. If I was gonna do this again, I would probably do the kerf offset more like 0 0.005. You just need to figure out for your machine, you know, all laser beams are slightly different sizes. So just work with that, figure it out. Um, and then I'm gonna send this over to laser. Okay, so I'm gonna put my material in my machine. I'm going to do my usual thing of setting my origin, hitting autofocus, and then I hit play. Okay, so now that it's cut out on the laser, I just pulled the pieces out and stuck them all together and you've got your box. Hope this video was helpful, guys. Uh, I'm always trying to teach you guys new things. I'm trying to show you how easy these machines can be. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something and keep on lasering.